Hey everybody, it's the Ileana Farmer. Welcome back to my channel. We're done, uh, we're done cutting wheat. So, today is going to be a video. We're, trying to try to get, we're going to try to get some footage of something new. This isn't, this is ours. But uh, Berkey's Farm Equipment brought us a Kenzie mock till basically a speed disc and we're gonna try it out on some wheat stubble so we're gonna get some footage of that today and maybe the planter will get rolling later on and we'll be uh we'll be doing some double crop bean action we gotta fill up first though I would say that's a pretty good sign. It's a little dust this early in the morning. I think the fields will work pretty good. We're headed there, in route. All right, so we're to the field. And I did see that we do have uh, a number on the side. This is a Kinsey Mock Till 261. So it's, uh, it's a really heavy speed disc. I'm excited to see how this buries the trash out here. I don't know if I have it set right. I just made a couple passes and I probably wasn't pulling it fast enough to do as good of a job. It seemed like the faster I went, the better it was looking but I mean this is a really heavy piece of machinery here and a lot of offset to these discs you know this is this is straight and they're they're cutting you know at a pretty aggressive degree of angle and then the back ones come back in and cover it up and I think they make a, a beater basket or this rubber rolling wheel and it's got the little rock guards so if you pick up a rock this thing here will kick it out but I mean it's really heavy built and I'm excited to see how this thing does that's one of our biggest problems has always been how do you get this straw you know incorporated with the dirt and have it dry enough and make a nice seed bed for the planter to come in a lot of guys no-till but we don't we never have no-tilled so we don't really have a planter set up for that but so we're excited to see this thing Berkey's farm equipment brought this to us and uh, we're gonna put it through the test today and see what happens you know this stuff here You know, you've got all that laying on top, plus the stalks itself growed up. A field cultivator comes in here and just flips it up and leaves it really chunky and big clods. I just, we need something. We, we usually run a disc, but it, ha it hasn't seemed to do the best job. I mean, we've raised beans that way. A lot of times we'll have to disc it, then bring the field cultivator in and do that, you know, and you got to unhook and go back, you know, we're about 12 miles for the, from the shop where every piece of equipment is, so it'd be nice if we had a tool that we could just run in our wheat stubble and it'd do a really good job. So we're going to give this thing a try. 
it's pretty cool looking I will say that hopefully this thing can pull it exposed to air and it doesn't have seed to soil contact if that could make any sense and uh, then your stand you don't have as many beans come up out of the ground so we're just trying to run this thing get a little bit of dirt up on top so I think once we air this out and leave this ground set like it is after I work it once for uh, you know maybe two to three hours then uh, here's my auto steer getting on. Then we'll come back and work it. We're working this way, and you can see the rows were planted this way. So we're working against the grain, as you could say, this way. And what I'll do is I'll come back and I'll set an angle, and we'll go this way. And it should chop it up and mix everything up a little bit better.
something that just feels right when you're making a pass like this and you come through and everything lines up really nice. Or like when it's your last pass of the field and you've worked everything that way. And I haven't, but if you've worked everything that way and then you end up with a pass like this, it feels really good. I don't know why, but satis just satisfaction, I guess. Farming satisfaction. We're averaging right now 31.4 acres an hour with this tool. 26 foot wide. We, uh, we're not using all the horsepower, but it, I mean, this is a 500 horse, 540 horsepower tractor, and uh, we're pulling it in 12th gear at 11.1. You can pull them up to 14, but it's it's pretty rough out. Show you guys something kind of cool in these uh, big newer Steiger tractors. They've got a little button, and you're probably not going to be able to see it, but I can make this whole control panel here, armrest, throttle. I can make this whole thing slide up or slide back. So then, when you're sitting in the seat, if you want your arm all the way out. Or when it slid back, it'll be about right here. So I guess I'll slide it back a little bit. So anyways, now you got a little bit of bend instead of being all the way out. Pretty comfortable. And we have foot pegs. So your feet stay nice and propped up. And those guys bailed 112 or 114 bales yesterday and they've just about got them picked up. I mean, that's really nothing compared to what they had out here. And we're coming right behind them. Understand the uh, concept of auto steer? You don't drive it. You hit this button and it tells you we're gonna go straight for a very long time. That's nice. That's Big Ron for anybody who doesn't know. That's the boss. And then we both have upper bosses and that's Big Pete. Big Pete's 85 and he's a worker. So that means we have to be workers too. And we like working. All right guys, so that's the Kenzie Mock Till 261. And uh, we're pretty well wrapping things up here. We got one field to do. And I'm gonna go jump back to the planter here in just a minute and see if we can get this all finished up. So if you like this video, subscribe, give it a thumbs up, comment below what you guys wanna see, any improvements, any of my editing that could be worked on, it doesn't matter. I like it all, I like all the reviews. So thank you guys and uh, keep watching.